Hello guys, welcome to Ultra 96 Hello World Development Station. So we are just showing you the Ultra 96 resource section. So this is the default page of Ultra 96 at jerbo.org where you can get the product brief and some video lectures as well as some documentations. So we have opened this documentation here. So if you just log in, in the website, you will get all the downloads and this documentation consists of hardware guides, means the basic guides only. And it also have one the getting started guide and the constant file, which is not necessary for now, just will, need, will be needed in next session. And another section is there, which is reference design. Reference design consists of lots of resource materials and the PDF. It also have the default factory set of micro SD card file which need to be extracted and uploaded on micro SD card. And other is the technical reference design, alternative 6 TRD. And the tutorial is here. So this is the first tutorial which we are going to follow in this lecture. And then after we will follow the hello world in this video, same video. So we will follow this which is basic project design. This is hello world application in Viewer SDK and there is also bare metal application development session and fsbl boot bootable session which we are going to follow means we are going to use this fsbl development process in lecture 2 and there are some other uh, references and pink uh, framework and as you see bare metal data linux platform and one the accelerated binary neural network application and the deaf neural network deaf neural network is also here so another is better Linux board support package so these are all the things which might be needed and this is available at the reference design tutorials section of all 96 so let's back to the vivaro let's start with vivaro 28.3 let's create the project and let's go for next let's do hello world Let's do next. Let's unclick this. And you can also select the target language. You can also select the constant, but we don't have anything. Let's select the board. Actually, we have already installed our board. You can get the Ultra 96 board from Avenet repo. And we'll also have the link here. Let's select this board. Let's do next. Let's do finish. So we just get this file from the BDF master of Avenet GitHub. So we just copy these two things. Our Xilinx install directory. Where is our Xilinx installed? And inside the inside the data boards board files we just copy those files here so we just copy these two things along with some other board file to the vivaro install directory so you can just do these things yourself so we just create the project let's create block design okay let's add the jink Ultra scale plus and bishop processing system IP. Let's click on block automation. Let's check this apply board preset. Let's click on OK. It will just add few ports and apply the board presets. So let's connect this clock with this and this and we can regenerate it we can validate it and we can go for source design one right click on it create sdl wrapper let pivot do we'll just get the sdl file of this block design we will get psdl file while you might get payload file that is dependent on the project setting which we created or which we did while creating the project that is not the issue 
so we have here bsd file now we can just click on generate stream click on yes click on ok and it will take a bit time so guys um, we'll meet you after the btsim generation completes and we'll continue by exporting the har hardware design to stk and we'll launch the stk so guys our btsim generation has been completed successfully so let's export the btstream export hardware include btstream okay we already have exported we are just overwriting let's again go for the file and launch the stg we're going to create hello world application and memory test application with the hardware stg let's wait a little bit time because stg might need few minutes to open up And we also have connected our FT232 module with UART uh, with UART of Auto96. So the Auto96 is connected to FT232. The ground is connected with ground of Auto96 and the TXD of FT232 is connected to RX of Alter 96 and RXD of FT232 is connected to TX of Alter 96. We will show you the setup soon and we have the power connected, power adapter and let's create a stick application. So our SDK is now ready. First of all, we will go for hello world application and we will create the bootable file. Actually, we are going to program our hello world application. Actually, we are going to program our alter 96 from the SD boot up mode. So we are going to create bootable file of hello world application and memory test application. So let's first create hello world application. Let's go to file, new application project. Let's say hello world. All the things can be is now. Let's do next. Let's click on hello world and let's do finish. The hello world application have UART hello world print code. So when we run the hello world application from Ultra 96, we will get hello world display on our serial terminal program via the UART that's why we are connecting Alter 96 with FT232 module and that module keeps us UART interface if we have the default or the recommended accessories of Alter 96 like JTAG UART then that is good that will work fine and we don't have that module currently so we are just using our F232 module so let's first of all go for the hello world BSP we are going to change the UART connection with processor so double click on MSS system MSS or you can just click on modify this BSP set so let's go for external one the STD in and STD out is connected to PSU UART 0. Let's change it into the UART 1. We need to get the output at UART 1 interface, which is connected with external UART in Auto 96. So UART 0 is not connected to the external port. So we need to get the output of STD in and STD out of Hello World project in UART 1 interface of Auto 96 processing system. Let's click on OK. It will regenerate. Now the project is ready, but we need to create the bootable file. So we are going to create new application project of Jink MP FSBL first stage bootloader. So let's go for a file again and new application project we need to have jink fsbl project 
let's name it fspl all the things are is now let's do next let's click on jing mp fspl so this, this is faucetage bootloader which is needed to boot our hello world application from sd card so this is the faucetage bootloader we just instantiate the processor and our video stream will be loaded using this fsbl by then let's see the hello world.c file so this is the basic uart hello world print file we can see here the library file are here platform.h excel printf and the print function actually from the excel printf works is we are deprinting and we have the cleanup platform and return zero so this is all initialize print cleanup and return so this program just execute hello world on the uard terminal and the fsbl is needed for creating the bootable file so all the necessary shows are here so everything is loaded automatically let's minimize it it is still building the workspace after it builds completes we are just going to create bootable file of hello world so the build completes let's go for hello world right click on it and let's click on create boot image so you, you just need to check these things so first of all you need to have bootloader and second you will have bd stream third you will have hello world.elf so this is the bootloader this is bd stream we, which we have created from vivado and this is the executable file of hello world so first this will run then bd stream will run then the hello world elf will run so let's click on create image after we click on create image one folder will added here which is representing the our local directory and the boot file will available there we will copy that let's click, click on create image so we can see here boot image is here now we are just plugging our micro sd card so our micro sd card is available it is mpd let's right click on it let's copy it and let's paste it here so this is good let's eject it now we're going to just put this micro sd card on our ultra 96 let's do one more thing actually we're going to get the hello world in the serial terminal and we have the terra tom you can use party or the other terminal programs or you can even use the standard terminal program of sdk that is also good let's open up the teratom serial mode we have the uart ftdi module connected in com port 6 let's click on ok and let's set up the power rate and our power rate will be 115200 is the hello world program let's click on ok now we are ready now we can just power cycle or power on the alter 96 we are just powering up so we are just getting hello world here so this is all in the first hello world application